All right, so today I have something exciting to share with you. Uh, something that I've been working in the last uh, two weeks. Um, and this is the skull progress indicator. This is tiny, but some of you, I think, really love it. Um, and as you can see, as I scroll down, I can see the uh, scroll progress um, of my my page. So as I reach the uh, bottom of the of the page, this is basically end. And here we have a small indicator that tell me that the the amount of percentage that I've been scroll in my page. This is um, uh, very common in um, blog posts. So it gives you um, the idea of how much more you have to read. Um, you can also see that we have another instance of exact the same uh, functionality, uh, which is this uh, circle, which is another way um, to show scroll progress um, uh, in different shape. Um, and so this is sync with the uh, total page scroll, but um, we have also the options to, to sync it with inner scroll. So for example, uh, this uh, container include a lot of text with uh, overflow scroll. So you can basically scroll inside. And here you can see two things happened. Uh, there is two elements that is synced with this inner scroll. The first one is this big shape, which is basically exactly the same as this uh, tiny top one, but just uh, huge. Uh, and also we have here the circle that is located inside this container and show us this scroll percentage. So basically this is the app and now I want to show you how to use it. So this is the editor and I want to, I want to create another one. So you will get uh, a link um, uh, to download it or using the app market. Currently I submit it to the app market and I'm waiting for their review to approve my app if everything is fine uh, but meanwhile I'll share it with you in the description direct link to download it and and I hope to use to use you as my QA team you know to test it and let me know if basically if it's working uh, as expected um, and also I would like to hear your opinion and maybe if you have some more cool things that maybe I can implement. All right, so uh, because it's locally installed in my uh, site, I go to the custom apps and then I have here the score progress indicator. Uh, and because I al already installed it, it's right there in the app widget. So I can drag a new one uh, right here. And this one I want to create uh, like a floating right here in the middle. So, um, so what we can do basically as you drop it into the canvas, it's coming with specific size, but you can of course change it. Uh, I can change the width, I can change the height. Uh, you can see that we have this tiny uh, uh, text that is uh, display the percentage, the scroll percentage, but you can, of course, uh, delete it. Uh, if you want to delete it completely, I um, I recommend you to delete the content, the container wrapper of this one. Um, but we will use it just for now, um, and then I can I'll select the the main container and. I have some settings that I can apply to. So uh, if I click on scroll indicator settings, um, so I have a few things uh, that I can play with. First of all is the indicator shape. So we have the line and we have circle. So circle 
uh, I know it looks bad, but circle, it, it must be square. So if I decide for a specific uh, width, the height should be identical. So let's go with 200 pixels and I'll match the height to be also 200 pixels. And by default, it's coming with this blue color that you can, uh, of course, change. Okay, I can change the color very easily. And in the middle, we have uh, the text, but it's black. This is why you don't see it. So, of course, I can go, I can drill down in the layers panel and change this color to match the border. Of course, I can uh, change uh, anything that I want in terms of the text style. Uh, also, blending mode. Uh, let's go back to the settings. So we saw that we can change the shape and we can change the scroll sync. So we have page or a specific section or container. So here, for example, this one is synced with the page and this one is synced with container. Um, but there is a difference between this one, okay, that is located inside this container and between uh, this one that is outside, and I'll show you the difference. So if I want to create uh, an inner scroll, it's super simple. I can uh, add a container, for example. Uh, let's create a, a new container. All right, so let's, oh, sorry. Let's take you right here and this container right here. Um, so I can give a specific height for this container. Uh, let's set it as uh, 300 pixels. And I, I, I'll set the, um, I, I will add some element. Uh, let's take, for example, a button. I will put this button with a lot of margin from top. So we will have inner scroll, 500 pixels, okay? So we can see it because this container overflow is show. Let's do it as a height but not hide, scroll, sorry. So now we can actually scroll inside this container, right? And then if I, I'll drag my uh, app into this container, let's change its width and let's set it to be sticky to top like this. Uh, so if we will scroll inside, it won't disappear. It will stick to the top. Um, and then I can change the the um, the sync not to the page but to specific section or container. And here you you have some uh, explain. But then I can uh, uh, okay. So automatically, if I publish my site right now, so it will work out of the box. Okay. So let's go to wait. All right. Uh, so let's refresh the live site. And now you can see if it's zero percentage, you won't see anything, okay? Which is makes sense. Uh, but as I start to scroll down until the bottom is reached to the, to the bottom, you can see that I have this effect, all right? So this is the default. But um, sometimes you want uh, to shift the the affected element, uh, sorry, I, I want, for example, to place this element outside and still I want to be synced with this container. So what we can do? So uh, basically I need to go to the live site and then I need to copy this container ID. So I can uh, select it and then I can, I'm looking for the ID. So it's located right here. Uh, I can see it's really late because of the margin. If maybe sometimes you won't be able to pick it immediately, but you need to select the ID. So I'm copy this comp something, and then I can go back to my editor, and then I'll go to the uh, app setting, and I can specify here, I can set manually the scroll sync too. And I'll place it right here. And then let's publish it and see how it's um, working on the live site. All 
all right? So now you can see that if I scroll inside this container, it's effect, this one. And this is exactly the way that I've synced this inner scroll into this shape. So this is basically a line that is stretched. Um, all right, so this was uh, this part. Let's go back to settings to see if we have anything else. Um, yeah, you can change the direction. Uh, currently, you can see that the uh, animation is, where is it? Is like right to left, but you can change the direction. Uh, you can also change it for this one. As you can see, this one left to right. So let's change this one to from the center. Let's select the element itself. Let's open the settings. And now I want it to be expand to, to be filled from the center uh, out. So I can go to the grow direction and then change it to center. Um, let's see how it's working. By the way, it, it's only working on the live site because I'm using custom element and it's not working on the editor itself. So, so there you go. You can see that I am scrolling down and this, um, this uh, area is growing from the center. Um, this app is inside the header and the header is fixed. This is why it's scrolled down with me. Um, we can also, um, we can also do it, uh, place it, um like vertical so let's do do one uh for example so i'll change this one to circle to, uh, sorry to line and then i will change it to be synced with the page and let's change the color um uh, if i want to change the line color i need to select it um and then I can change the color. Um, for this example, I don't need the percentage. And let's set the width to be 50 pixels. I can remove the minimum, minimum width. And the height will be 100 VH, but I need to remove the, the premium banner. So let's do calculation. It will be 100 minus 30 pixels. And I want, I want to make it pinned to the page. So let's change it from sticky to pinned and to the page, just like this. I know it's ugly, but it's just to, to show you how it's working. So now I need to switch the direction. Right now is horizontal move. I need a vert vertical move. So let's go to the scroll indicator setting. And now the progress direction, it won't be horizontal, it will be vertical. And then of course here I can also play around with the left to right, right to left of the center. Let's keep it left to right. Um, we will talk about this in a second. And then we have like a vertical scroll. So you don't have to use it only for page progress indicator. You can also use it as a design um, it is, it's a design tool, like to create something creative with motion in your site. So you can see that as I scroll down, now it's, it's, uh, growing the other direction from this. It's not, this is horizontal. This is vertical. Um, all right. So another things that I, I wanted to show you is that, uh, sometimes you don't want it to be, um, um sorry uh you don't want to show this one to the user when you are uh at the first screen okay because um sometimes it doesn't make sense so what you can do you can go to the app settings and decide that you want to play it only after fir first fold so you just need to toggle this on and then we will see that uh, as we scroll down at the beginning, we won't see it.
So as, as you can see right here, I'm scrolling. I don't see any progress, but as I move like 100 VH, okay? So it's revealed with some fade animation, which is kind of cool. Um, so this is another uh, thing. Uh, basically, sometimes you have like a big hero, very beautiful hero section, and you don't want it to distract the user. So you wait and open it like after one screen. Um, all right. So another thing that you can do, uh, you can, because this is a container, let's grab the container. Uh, it's this one. So um, you can also use gradient. So if I'll choose a gradient, so we can do something very, very cool. Um, let's do like um, this red into the darkness. Okay, just for the example. So this will be black uh, with zero transparency. Let's reverse the direction. And oh, we can also change the corners. So let's do the uh, the right side like rounded, and it will looks like a, a star or bullet or something like this. Let's do something like this and publish it. And so, oh, I, it's still from the center. So let's change the settings. It should be left to right. Uh, left to right and I don't want it to show after first first fold and if I, I I've done it like uh, like more narrow it will be even much more uh, beautiful um, so so you can see it's kind of like a bullet now super super nice um, I think that's it basically every design that you want to create uh, so every design that is allowed for container you can apply to it you can also do like um, like glass effect if you like um, so yeah this is was my app um, I will share a link uh, for you to use it a direct link because it's not currently it's not existing in the app market um, but please use it and let me know what you think. So until next time, keep building amazing websites on Wix Studio.